Hello everyone, in this video <coughs> I'm going to be showing you how to uh, retarget your uh, visitors to, to your website and just um, generally retarget your custom audiences um, as well as I'm going to show you my, my results uh, with, with retargeting uh, website traffic so you can get an idea of how much higher click-through rates you can get when you retarget website traffic instead of just normal audiences so so the first thing you want to do is get your pixel set up so the way you do that is lo first log into your ad manager account click here and then look for pixels and then open that up when you first start off it's going to ask you to show you it's going to ask you to set up a pixel so i've already got myself it's been running for quite a while now so but when, when, when you start off, it's going to ask you to set it up. So all you have to do is click on set up pixel and then copy and paste some code into your website. You can also email the instructions to your uh, web website manager or web developer to install it for you. All you do is just simply install the code on the, the sites that you want, you want to track. Yeah, so you just copy code like that. And and you install the event code as well for for example um, add to cart page views initiate checkout purchase so as you can see these are different ones i got all these responses on these different pages page views add to cart initiate checkout purchases so yeah so all it does is it tracks exactly who's going to each website and then later on, you can target people, for example, clicked on add to cart or people who've initiated checkout, but then you complete it. So that's really a nice thing. So once you've got your pixel set up, you've run ads for about a couple of weeks, maybe, but it just depends on how much you spend. You, you want to have at least a couple of thousand impressions, maybe about 5,000 impressions. And then you can start re retargeting so you've got enough data in your pixel to start retargeting process all right so where do you create your audience you go to the same place click here go to audiences and then once you've done that you can click over here to create your audience custom audience and then you want to click on website traffic So you can also specify which pages or custom combinations to target specific people. So that, that's up to you and how you want to do it. Well, you can also create different different um, audiences for different um, types of people who visit your site. You can also decide the number of days and pass web traffic as well. So that's all there is to it. And you just click, click, um, you just name your audience. And then that's it. It takes a little bit for for it takes a little while for Facebook to generate the audience, as it has to collect all the data back again. So it can take maybe a couple hours, maybe sometimes it's quick. But as you can see here from one for my website traffic, I've got about five thousand three hundred people so far. I know there's a lot more than that, but it takes a while for Facebook to update it every now and then. I think I have to create a new one. No, well, I might as well create one now so I can show you um, how I would do it. So, if anyone visits my site, 30 days website traffic blog updated one. So, I'll just create the audience and then what it does, it, if it says that, it means it's still making the audience for me. Actually, wait. Yeah, that means it's still developing the audience. Because currently it's too small, so it's still collecting more data. Also, I should probably have clicked on 60 days to get um, the past two months. Anyway, once you've done that, once the audience is ready, it'll look something like that with the green light. And then you can start creating ads to, um, to start run, uh, retargeting them with uh, with ads. So how you do that is, let me show you. 
just going to open up one of my campaigns here. I'm going to show you an ad that I ran pr previously against a website traffic audience. So I'm just going to immediate for a lifetime and then I can, I can show the results for that particular campaign. So these are just normal campaigns I ran last week. And then here, if you noticed, we have website traffic. Oh, here we go. So this one has a website traffic. I'm gonna do performance in clicks. So we got 948 clicks out of 3,000 people. That's that's quite a high. So that's really good. As opposed to here, where I got 463 clicks out of 16,000 people. So I, I, I'm, I'm going to show you the click click through rate difference, so you can see um, the difference in click through rate. Uh, as you can see here, website traffic here, 6% click through rate and 10% click 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 through in all of them. As opposed to here, yeah, I only got 4.5. So there's a big difference um, when you use website traffic instead of just normal. So this was just targeting Germany, whereas here it was targeting the website visitors. So here's literally nearly 1,000 out of 3,000 people clicked on my on the ad. I might, I might show you the ad as well, so you can get an idea of um, what it looks like as well. <coughs> so we're going to get the performance in clicks on this ad to see which ones we're doing the best. So, let's see, so here we go. So this was the best ad out of all of them. You got six point, basically 7% click through rate. That is very high. So the way you get that is you, you target website traffic instead of normal traffic. So you got 542 clicks out of 2,500 people. That's extremely high. So this is what the ad looks like. It looks like quite, it looks like a homemade picture. That's probably why it did better than the other picture underneath it, which looks more of like a studio kind of picture. This was more like like a homemade professional picture instead of a studio picture. But um, yeah, so the results show that this one is probably one of my best performing ads. As you can see, I was given a 20% discount and it's pretty, the, the picture is really good. That's probably why it sold well, as well as the discount here. And it was going through through Christmas as well. So there's that. Let me show. Got about nine reactions here. All right. So that's that's all there is to it. So to retarget to get high, get higher click through rates, just retarget website traffic. Set up your pixel first. Then just create a custom audience with the website traffic, make an ad, and then as your audience, choose the audience that you created here. And literally, that's all there is. You don't have to click on no interests. Um, wait, let, let me show you how I made the ad so you can get an idea. Scroll back down. So website traffic. So you literally all you do is the, the double click and then choose your custom audience here. So as you can see, I chose my all website traffic and then you can leave all this alone because it doesn't matter all the ages or anything. You can just leave that alone. Um, you don't need to click on any of that. So all you would do is select over here, 
choose your placement and your bid amount. Uh, so that's all there is for creating website traffic, traffic audience and targeting them with an ad. It's very simple. You're going to get really high click through rates if you make the right ad. I mean, if you're not, if you're not getting higher than usual, then there's definitely something wrong with that. that that's, that's probably a good way to check if you're running good ads or not. So retarget your website traffic. And if it's not at least a couple percent higher, you're doing something wrong. So that's all there is for this tutorial. Um, catch you back in the next story where I'll, I'll, I'll probably be covering how to do custom audience insights and target general audiences related to your niche.